I would prefer not to go too deep into the pieces, basically because I like the viewer to come in and to have space for themselves to come to it at their own, at their own, wherever they're at. I'm inspired is rather a perverse way of putting it, but there is work here that has been triggered by communities that have been just displaced in our time. Or else there are other aspects like this, which started mainly out of the devastation I felt when the fourth, fifth century Persian Buddhas in Afghanistan were destroyed by the Taliban. That was utterly, that's what triggered this initially, but it has moved on from that. There's no one single layer to any of these pieces. They are layered upon layered upon layered, but from different angles, different societies. But in a way, I feel we're all the same. There's no difference from one society to another, one culture to the another. People, you know, as regards basic living, etc. There, at the end, you have that piece with the theatre. Uh, the image is an image I took in Italy about four years ago. I spent six weeks in Italy touring and taking photographs. That is the Colosseum, but it has been mirrored three times, or twice, I should say. And thanks to the kind assistance of a beautiful man in the gallery of photography in the basement, Dan, he helped to actually uh, work on that for me. This was made in a room which was 10 feet high from floor to ceiling. And so what it did was it literally stood from floor to ceiling, just locked into place. You didn't have to hold it, it was locked there. But because it's here and there's higher ceilings, I've had to slightly compromise. But it's the same thing as these poles, only that curvature has become so ingrained within it. I've made um, an extension ladder out of it with rope. Um, so you're playing with a perverse sense of optimism and pessimism at the same time. I am all, I've always been interested in marrying, you know, finding beauty within the ugliness, you know, the contrasts that go on. This green one here, this is um, a friend of mine, her brother, Frank died a number of years ago and he had a prosthesis, so um, this is an echo, a copy underneath this ceramic white piece. I did a series of works called Stamps. Uh, to date I have made seven, five of which are finished, two are still in the process, but they're quite well on. Um, it first started or instigated by a friend of mine, a Cuban friend, Waldo, who lived here. And he lived with his Irish girlfriend, but he was still waiting for his official papers, which took quite a number of years before he could leave the country, in, and quite worried that if he didn't have the papers, he might not be left back in. So the stamp started with Waldo. <coughs> Waldo was, the stamp looked very much like Eamon's over there with the wooden uh, handle at the back of the head. The stamps began to move away from the handle and into another dimension. And I took each individual quite separate. I'm very strict and from the point of view if something doesn't work. I'm not interested in flogging a dead horse, it's destroyed and I only continue where I think it is working and it's going as I would like it to go.